So recently I've seen a lot of questions around what's best for hosting your coaching program or your online course, like a Teachable, a Kajabi, or something custom. And so we just got done focusing in June on creating a buttery smooth onboarding program for our clients over in personal freedom mentoring and with our students. So what I thought I'd do today is just show you a little bit of what's working for us so that you can apply it into your program so that your clients have the best chance at getting results as possible. So let's go ahead and hop in. Uh, have my phone here tuned down so that we can very simply see this and just kind of brainstorm through it together. So when it comes to buttery smooth onboarding, sweet, you guys can see that. So there are three main parts when it comes to focusing on building a program that does work super smooth for you in the driver's chair as a coach or the online course creator and for actually getting your clients results. The three big parts is number one, two, and three, and this first one is all about home base. The second one is all about the communication lines, the comms, and uh, the last one is all about the automation that it takes to bring it to life. Inside of the home, you have a couple things. You have a portal somewhere people can log into and access all of the things inside of your program. You of course have the community because what program is complete without a thriving community? And you also have the dashboard that your clients can log into and uh, kind of just monitors and maintains their entire experience inside of your program. When it comes to communication, the first thing you have is frequency. The second thing you have is the deliverables. You know, if you have call recordings or things like that, where do they go? Where do you put them? How do they get them? Uh, here you have the actual like onboarding part of it. And lastly, in automation, of course, we have some tech. There's gonna be some technology to bring your program to life. You're gonna have some frameworks. You gotta draw some stuff out on paper before you really bring it to life. And then lastly is you have uh, the maintenance of it and actually keeping it running and actually keeping it uh, working. Now, these are the first three pieces that any good program needs to have in order for your clients to number one, be ready to sign up and look like you have a good enough program for them to invest their hard earned dollars with you, but also to actually get them the result. You see, there is a clock that starts ticking once your new client has handed over their investment to join your program because you're charging and not doing anything for free, right? It's one of the big rules over in personal freedom mentoring. And so uh, what their mind is thinking is, are they gonna be getting a positive return on investment? Even if you've overcome the objection, even if your sales page or your sales call overcame the objection, they're still thinking about ROI. They're still thinking about when are they going to be experiencing the result. And what's really interesting when you are auditioning instead of selling and you're really creating a queue of people that are selling you, which is one of the things and the primary concepts that we teach over on my site is that your client is going to be already experiencing what it's like to have the end result the second they agree to help you. And it, this kind of almost happens during the call. There's this magical moment where they start to, to feel relief, like they found the right program, like you're the right person, and like this is the right time. And the clock really begins ticking then. And so we need to think through a couple things once they're on the other side to make sure that we just keep that level of excitement where we want it and not have them overwhelmed or underwhelmed with some of the deliverables. So uh, let's talk through one of the frameworks and what we see working well for bringing this to life. I'm just gonna go ahead and move my paper onwards. Just like that. Yeah, sweet. Okay, cool. So uh, when it comes to the actual onboarding process for your people, all right, let's talk about the first one, seven, and 14 days. Now, most obviously, there are other, there's 21 days, there's 30 days, and all those are equally as important, but I just want for the sake of this video, for the sake of this training, let's just focus on the first uh, one, seven, and 14 days. And uh, what we find is there's this kind of timeline that emerges if you uh, are planning this out and really looking into it, right? So maybe you have like uh, the first 24 hours, let's get a different, different pen here. If I can open it, that'd be awesome. So uh, maybe you have the first 24 hours right here. You have the first uh, seven days here, and this begins the start of their first 14 days. Well, what's happening in between here is all different sorts of questions, levels of excitement. Maybe they're super excited here. Maybe they're just excited, no questions. And maybe they have just a ton of questions and a little bit of excitement. 
excitement here. Um, but what's going on in between here is they're consuming your product. They're starting to take action on the result that they're here to get. And for most coaches when they're just starting out, and this might be you right now, which is fine. All of this is super important for you to be thinking through as you're getting your next clients. And we're going to be talking about why that's so important here in, in the next couple minutes is the more clients you bring in, you want to get as close to possible as they guaranteeing that they're going to get the result they're wanting. Almost, I want you to think about it without your help or maybe even your team's help. And so there's some technology needed, a system, and a lot of thinking and drawing out that is going to be involved in making this come to life for your program. And what we end up really seeing is that there are two kind of versions of this timeline going on. There's the version going on for your client and there's a version that's going on for you. And what we call this over here is above the line. And when I learned this concept back in 2013, my mind was blown and I didn't think it'd become such a big part of my business today. And down here at the bottom, you kind of have below the line, below the line. And there are a different set of actions that need to happen for these above the line things inside of your system to actually take place. When you're just getting started, this is gonna be a bit more manual. You're gonna be connecting with your students one-on-one -on -one for, uh, for you know, coaching calls and support calls, things like that. You're gonna have to take on questions and pull out of your bag of tricks and answer for that student across from you many times when you're just getting going. But over time, you're gonna observe a pattern with them. And what we wanna be doing is automating that so that we can get as close to possible as delivering just the best customer experience and getting our clients actual results, the things that they're paying for once they're in. So this is the uh, uh, one of the big first concepts that we're seeing working is we need to understand what needs to happen below the line in order for an amazing customer experience to happen above the line. Now, I mentioned a second, I'm just gonna go one-on-one -on -one here for a second. We have a couple more things to talk about while we're still here. So there are these above the line and below the line things that need to happen in order to make sure that your client is getting as close to guaranteed as getting that result as possible. The problem is that when you're just getting started and you only have one, two, or basically under five clients, is that this is gonna take a lot of work to set up and it may not get you the best ROI doing some other things like either getting more clients or really just making sure that you're working one-on-one -on -one with these students because the clock is ticking and making sure that they're getting the result that they're looking for. And so uh, what I want for you to think about is a big concept that we're such big fans of over in personal freedom mentoring, which is working hard once. You see, maybe you're a, a bit like me and you tend to procrastinate in some way. Um, I don't do it with perfectionism, but maybe yours is perfectionism. Maybe is yours is that you, you don't like working that hard and you like a lot of time off. And I'm, I'm a big fan of those things too. Well, what we wanna do is just, if we're gonna do the hard work, let's just do it one time. And we need to have this mentality and a very important question to be asking yourself that's going to help you make your program better and better and better every time a new client signs up is very simple, is how can I get paid to build the next part of my business? And so over time, you're gonna observe these patterns with each new client and the perfect clients that you're really a best fit to work with. And we wanna optimize our program around that. So in the first couple days, we're giving them things that's getting them almost that big result that they paid thousands of dollars for because we're doing high ticket almost immediately so that the programs that you offer can pay for themselves so that any questions of returns or return on investment, refunds and things like that are just out of the picture. And so if you have clients that are doing your marketing for you via word of mouth, let's be honest, in order to get your business off the ground, it's almost like launching a rocket. And there is a certain amount of physics that needs to happen underneath it. And what this means is you doing the right things in the right order at the right time and aiming at the right goals. And when you do this, this frees up your time to continue focus on serving the people and finding more people to be filling up your program and to be getting that big result. There needs to be a balance of getting people in your program and serving them and then going and getting more people. And anytime one of those two things fall off, you're either gonna see a dip in revenue very quickly or you're gonna see some unhappy clients. And so we need a balance between those two. And so the question of how can I make this better for each client really helps you do that over the long term in your program and also helps you to look at opportunities for you to get a return on your time through service and through helping other people. Now, having a program that's buttery smooth and that has all of these components built into it, it's absolutely critical. But when you're just getting started, you have that problem of time. You have that problem of needing to have actual clients to go through your program so that you can figure out what is the big result that you help them with, or if you already know that, to make sure that you're getting as close as possible to delivering that to your people in a short of amount of time as possible so that you can have people doing your marketing for you and just super stoked about your program, telling their friends and family and you going to bed fulfilled every single night, knowing that you're here doing your soul guided mission and purpose. So 
If you're an online coach or you help businesses to get a business result, then here's what I'd like for you to do. Right below this video, there's an area for you to book a call. And what I wanna do is map out a plan for you. If this is the most important part, then let's talk about what the delivery of the program is. But I have a hunch that you want to have a program that's full of people, but you don't have enough people yet, or you're working on getting your first few clients. And so what I wanna map out is a little plan to help you get your first three clients and really just to show you what's working for me and for my students over in personal freedom mentoring, uh, like Matt who got his first client, a $900 client, $999 client in his first 23 days, or even like Danica who replaced an entire month of bartending income in just seven days. And she was only in the program for about 60 or 70 days when this happened. So that's four and a half thousand dollars in just two months. And the same can be possible for you, especially if you're already committed to online coaching and to helping people to get a big result in their life or in their business. So I wanna show you more of these frameworks and help you to get a plan in place to help you get some new clients. So if you have the capacity to take on a few more people and you're ready to have a program full that's buttery smooth and helping to get your clients the results, then choose a time below and just tell me a little bit about yourself, confirm your time, and let's have a chat and to see if or how I can even help you. And if I can, we'll talk about making a roadmap together that we're both confident will deliver you to where you wanna go. So my intention is that uh, you book a call and this is the best 10 or 15 minutes that you invest in your business all year. And if I can't help you, I'll of course let you know kindly and get you some resources to get you to that next best place. Regardless, I know that this can help you in your business. So book a time below, it's completely free. Uh, and it's free because there's gonna be a percentage of you that definitely want our help to help you bring your plan to life. A few of you won't, and so you'll walk away with a, a game plan, a strategy, uh, a fist bump, and a bunch of people rooting for you. And so if you wanna talk about this, book a time below while there's still slots available, while this is hot on your mind, let's have a chat about where you're at, where you wanna be, and what's been keeping you back, and craft a plan to help you get from under there. Uh, if I haven't met you yet, my name's Jeremy, and I look forward to meeting you uh, during our strategy session and to talking through where you wanna be and through some examples of other students who are probably just like you who are already crushing it. Uh, any, anyway, that's, that's it for me. Big time thanks and uh, much love and light and see you on the other side. Cheers.